Yeah, I think that patience is a is a huge one. This is a new technology, and even though it's been around for like a decade plus, like we we've had instances of like minor AI for a long time, but the thing is, is that uh, it still is a new technology, and you have to be patient with it. You have to learn the aspects of of how to communicate with this system to actually get the desired results you want. Uh, we have a term in the industry, which is garbage in, garbage out. If you give bad input to the AI, it's going to give you bad output. And so really understanding that that is like the core principle that you need to understand is if I give really good information, I know how to prompt this well, I will get a good result out of the AI. So if you ever tried AI in the past, if you've pulled up JetGPT and you said, uh, how do I bake bread? And you got like a generic output that didn't really help you. Maybe you wanted to like spice it up with some, I don't know, chocolate chip or something, right? Um, then you would need to give it more context and more details for it to give you a really good recipe. And that translates to everything that you do, even for your marketing. So say if you are like creating social posts, well, you should probably be pulling in context from your previous social posts and feeding that to a system like ChatGPT and saying, this is what I've written in the past. These are some of the themes that I kind of tackle. This is how I write. This is my style. I need you to analyze all of this information that I have for you. And then I need you to then think about that information and then output it for me. And the key thing there is that think, like, I want you to take a step back. It's not going to actually take a step back, but it's going to break down the, what you gave it, gave it in steps. And once it starts to do that and understand the contextual elements in steps, it can really start to give you really good outputs. And so that is by far the most frustrating thing for me is just seeing that people will grab this technology and get their hands on it and be like, wow, there's a lot of hype around this. Let me dive in but then not have the patience to kind of just understand that it is a new technology and let's uh, approach it from a place of like, let's play with this thing and see what it really can do. I, I, I see that. And I think it's, it's interesting. There's that, again, it comes back to the behavioral science psychology aspect of things, right? Because you're talking to it like it's another human being and it's very normal language. There's no kind of technical jargon needed. Um, I think a lot of people falsely assume certain things about it. Like, like if I'm giving it the information and it's a computer and I'm telling it all about this information, if I gave all of this to another human being, they would read all of this and understand it. And yet with, with the AI, there's that other step to go, right, I've given you the information. Here's what I want you to do with it before we get to the point where we're going to output anything new. And I think it's just kind of as 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 an end user, kind of getting your head around the fact that it's a, a computer that you talk to like a human. Like it's it's a very weird situation to be in. But I agree. Once you get your head around the fact that it doesn't work like a human because it's not a human, then you know I I I get frustrated with it sometimes, and I'll shout at it. You know, like why won't you follow the word count that I gave you? Like. How many words was that? 750, right. How many word counts did I tell you to do? A thousand. Why is it not a thousand? Oh, I've done it wrong. I'm very sorry. Well, you're an idiot. And, and it'll come to people, well, you know, I'm just, like, don't, don't shout at me. I'm, oh, I feel bad now. Um, one day it would be my yeah. overlord, right? Right, right. I mean, I mean, hopefully not. Hopefully we have a good symbiotic relationship, but I, you know, there is the, the doomsday people out there that are kind of like, hey, the AI is going to take over the world. And I mean, we have like a 10% chance. Either way, I'm here for it. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure if we rewind back 100 years, people were saying the same things about, you know, steam engines and cars and, you know, it's like people aren't going to need to do X, Y, and Z and it creates a whole new industry around creating it in the first place and people just chop and change their job roles and, and adapt to what it is that's coming. So, like, I always say to people who are about their job and like, well, if all you ever do is the very basics and you're just repeating a process day in, day out. You're not putting anything human into it. Yeah, AI is going to replace your job 100%. Because why wouldn't it? You're not adding anything human into your job. But if you do your job and you go that extra mile, maybe it's customer service and, and you think outside the box. You don't follow the procedures sometimes because sometimes the situation dictates you break the rules. Like computers are not really going to ever break the rules. You know, and eventually, like ultimately, somebody needs to observe the AI's outputs and inputs and make sure it's doing what we've asked it to do in the way that we'd expect it to do. So it creates a whole new industry around optimizing the AI and 
for me, would I rather be sitting at the front end doing a repetitive, monotonous task over and over again? Or would I rather be analyzing outputs to see whether it's doing what it's supposed to be doing? Well, I think the analyzing the outputs is probably more fun than just repeating over and over again. Right? Yeah. One thing that I want to say too is that people, people look at AI as like if it's permission for you to take your foot off the gas pedal. And what I mean by that is that they look at it like I can do all these like mundane tasks, like the AI can do that for me. But just because it's doing those tasks doesn't mean that as a marketer, as a business owner, that you should be lit up, that you should, you know, that, oh, AI is going to do everything for me. No, it's not enable you to focus on those higher level tasks that you should be doing anyways, that maybe you just don't have the resources for. And so when you come at it from that perspective and you're like, this is going to enable me to maybe to give 10% more gas in my business to then approach like the customer service side. That's where you go and like, you go that extra mile for them. You, you send them maybe a postcard in the mail that you like, remembered their birthday or something like that. Like there's so many aspects to it to where you can actually up skill and up level your own business. And this is like the majority of what I talk about here in like 2024, this year, this entire year is for me is talking to people about upskilling in which there's so many ways that you can upskill. And one of them is just playing with AI and getting your hands on it, having that patience, and then putting your gas back on the pedal even harder once you've gotten those automations and systems down to then expand the rest of your business. Focus on the things that really matter and actually create leverage for you. Yeah, 100%. That's, that's where I preach. Like, I didn't bring AI into Javelin content to make my life easy. I brought it in so that I could save myself employing five people to do the job that I can do on my own, more or less. And we're, we're at breaking point now, right? So I'm having to bring other people in still, but each of those people will be shown how to use the AI to make their life easier. So I bring in one person instead of another five, and all of a sudden we've got a 10 man team. We've got two people doing it. Like that's beautiful and it's more profitable and it's more exciting and it's more fun. And to your point, I get to spend time doing the things that I enjoy doing, not, not the stuff that doesn't excite me or entertain me or it's high volume stuff and it's just repetitive over and over again. It's like you've got, that's, that's what AI is really, really good at doing.